So this is a serious question. It's not clickbait. Where do you keep your satellite messenger? The first thing I did when I got my InReach Mini was unscrew the little attachment point for the carabiner and just put that thing away, put on a little lanyard, and I've used it that way for the past, I think I've had that device for almost four years. And the reason why is that I did that is I just found it kind of gimmicky to tie it to my shoulder like you see in so many pictures. So not only is it a gimmick, but I think there's a risk to it. A few weeks ago, I took an avalanche safety course. When you're in avalanche terrain, the best practice is to wear an avalanche beacon. And one of the, the, the important parts is making sure that it's attached to you at all times. So the best way to do that is with a harness. Avalanche beacons come with a harness that go around kind of your torso and you want to wear your avalanche beacon up against your first layer. So under everything that you might ever take off so that if throughout the day you take off your jacket or anything like that, it's still on you. And also if you're in a really serious accident that it's protected and it doesn't get ripped off of you. So some people wear it in their pocket. I often put it in my pants pocket, but that's a risk. And there's stories of people being in massive avalanches and them literally like losing their pants. Satellite messengers are your most important part of like kind of your safety kit. And the question is, is having it attached to your shoulder risky? And going back to that avalanche training, the first day we were out in the field, one of the instructors said, hey, did someone drop an in reach? And one of the people on the course said, oh, that must have fallen off my backpack. That's definitely a risk. You can lose it in regular use. It can just unclip because it's on a carabiner. If it flips the wrong way, it'll just unclip and fall off. The next risk is kind of like the avalanche beacon is that if you're in an accident, it could get ripped off, literally ripped off or damaged. So there's one of your most important safety pieces of gear gone. The third reason why I consider not wearing your satellite messenger to your shoulder is it's both advertising to people around you and advertising in general that you're wearing that messenger. So when I mean to people around you, you know, I don't think I fall into the category of people that are at risk of needing a satellite messenger for this reason. But if you run into a bad guy or bad person and they see this bright orange thing on your shoulder, if I was to put myself in the frame of mind of a bad person, that's the first thing that I would rip off of you. No bad person is gonna let their victim keep their communication device on them. So it's sort of saying, I have it here with me. And then the other one is just that, you know, you're kind of doing marketing for everyone saying, you know, I'm using a Garmin in reach. I'm using a Zolio this, I'm using a whatever. So it's kind of, it's kind of just out there. And then the last reason, which is a big one for me, is the flop factor. I just hate having gear that's attached to me and kind of flops around and it's kind of loose, sort of like the classic thing, the person carrying a, a cup on the back of their backpack or all these things sort of dangling off their backpack. I want my pack to be really as sort of minimalist as possible and to be really tidy. Just to me, it's sort of an aesthetic thing, but it's also less likely to lose stuff, less likely to damage stuff in general. Personally, I keep my, my satellite messenger packed in my bag because I try and avoid using it as much as possible. It's there as a tool in case I'm in an emergency. I do a check-in, you know, once or twice a day just to say I'm okay, but it's not something that I'm using all the time. You know, having them attached to your shoulder, it, it, there's some good arguments for that. It's, it's available in case you hurt yourself. If you do hurt yourself and you're like unconscious or something, well, then if someone finds you, they'll see that there is a device that they could use. So there's arguments pro for, for both. I think that if you're gonna attach it to your shoulder, there's a good idea to just also bungee it down to take away that flop factor and then just kind of add a backup. But, you know, overall, I'm just curious, you know, what do you guys think? Where do you keep your satellite messenger? Is it worth packing it away to keep it safe or is it have it accessible?